Well, we have we we, ha we have uh, Chirag who's back with us on the phone line. So let's get some clarity on that. Chirag, we had you in a bit of a scratchy line. So the clarity we were asking you for was that 1,000 crores includes the inorganic opportunity, right? And what could the revenue contribution that you're factoring in from this inorganic opportunity? The rough math that I'm doing is your current business does around 850 crores. United Granite uh, does approximately 80 crores odd. So this inorganic opportunity could give revenues of around 60, 80 crores. Tell us more. Yeah, so I think, um, you know, we are still... We are still maintaining our growth levels to grow at this on the year 25, about 20 uh, 20 percent. We like kind of roughly close at uh, seven, uh, you know, close to uh, close to 700 crores that take us to about eight 850 crores by 525. So you're looking at a opportunity for us in or getting about 150, uh, some odd 150 crores. All right, and this 840 crores, 850 crores that you're talking about, that includes the United Granite acquisition as well? Yes, yes. So that is that's around 70, yeah. 80 crores is what you're factoring in from there? Yes. So that's inorganic right. growth opportunity will be around 150 crores of revenue contribution this year. We've got that. So with yeah. and without yeah, the no. inorganic growth, we've got the number. What about margins? Gross margins moved up, uh, you know, to the high 50s, which was good. But not everything flew uh, came down to the EBITDA margins. What guidance could you give us on the EBITDA margin front? No, I think uh, we are very happy on the gross margin side. Couple of uh, factors here, uh, Nigel. One is we had a great product mix. Uh, we also have seen the foreign uh, exchanges uh, working in our favor. Third, we have seen a big increase in the U.S. market, which have. Uh, which have better gross margins. We also see the rise in the IKEA business, which is again a very high gross margin mm. product. We have also launched a lot of new initiatives in the Indian market with higher gross margin. So we are basically targeting on the premium market in India. So I think with all these factors and at the operation side, the high level of efficiency, we have done some lot of R&D and we are able to bring down a lot of material costs. Now, why this? Margins, we're looking at 19%. Even with the Red Sea crisis, we're able to achieve this. So I think when this Red Sea crisis, I mean, eventually is going to go, and with all the initiatives, yes, I think I will still... Uh, I we, we do see a better margin ex expansion moving forward. All right, so 19% for FI25 is what you're guiding for. You spoke about India business briefly. Now, that was supposed to be a growth driver for you. In FI24, 132 crores turned into just 140 crores. And this, as against your earlier estimates of 30-40% growth out there. What are you factoring in for the India business in FY25? And what sort of margins here are you working with? Yeah, see, there is, it's not a surprise to anyone that the Indian markets are soft. Uh, hmm. I think the way we have re started ourselves that we need to enter the segment, which, which, can, we, which can give better margins. Second is we have identified the growth in, in uh, the growth spaces and we are launching new products which we are targeting the premium and the luxury segment of the market. So while the volume led growth may not happen, but we will be compensating by value. So we would be targeting twenty uh, the year twenty five with premium products. Second, we would be launching a lot of new uh, sort of new new products. And third is we are building a lot of high-end experience and galleries. So how much? How, so how much would that overall account for? What sort of growth are you factoring in? And as you do that, because you're selling premium products in India, what sort of margins are you factoring in? Uh, we, I mean, I would, I would, I would really honestly not know. But like I said, the margin there is there there is a possibility of the margin expansion moving forward in the company. So I, mm. and um, um, and the Indian market. We are like we have targeted 15 to 20 percent growth for the FY25 for the India. Okay, okay, 15 to 20 percent growth for India business. You know, the other point that the street wants to understand is you have taken a resolution, right. enabling resolution for a fundraise. So, yeah. that 150 crores, I think so, does that take place yeah. in the first half of the year? Is it a story of the second half of the year? And this fundraise is for the inorganic growth. Just want some clarity. How will you do it? Will it be a preference issue? Will you come out to the QIP? What is it? So we have just taken an enabling as resolution Nigel for the QIP. It's it's mostly for the QIP. We are very flexible. So whenever we see that when the opportunity arises at the right the right time, we will we will able to push that button. 
but we would be using the funds for our organic growth mostly for our organic growth which we have okay. new which we have new plans like we are just started with the howdens in uk we are also last time i said we are in probably in a very advanced talks with some major retailers across mm. uh, yeah. most in the us so we may have to expand our capacity more than million things then we would have to invest in a very very short time and for that we will need funds so so, so this 150 crores fund, basic so the 150 crores chira get telling us is mostly for the organic growth is that correct yes Yes, and your right. and your debt, your last recorded debt is around three hundred crores. So put everything yes. together, you could raise around one hundred and fifty crores by the QIP route. You could be looking at a potential acquisition as well, and plus you could looking at raising capacity. Where does the Correct. debt number move from this three hundred crore mark? No, so I mean, uh, being I think we had I said in the last in the next three to five years of the company we want to we we want to drive the revenue to to. Thousand crores in the next five years' time, and for that we are trying to now. You know, we have we, we just trying to build our base now. So with the with the QIP coming in, I think our debt debt level ratios also uh, our ratios will be at a you know good level. So even if you have to raise debt, you know, to expand ourselves uh, for even in organic growth, I think that gives us a lot right. of a uh, lot of space for us to. Uh, All right. Uh, thank you, Chirag, for joining in. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we had you on a scratchy line, but some of the key takeaways that we got, you know, you will reach a thousand crore revenue in FY25, if not the revenue, at least the revenue run rate by the second half of this year. One fifty crore comes in from inorganic, with margins around that nineteen percent mark, fifteen to twenty percent growth in the domestic business, and also looking at a long term five year target of two thousand crores. On the top line, the street likes that the stock, which has already seen a bit of a run up, continues to hold in the green. We'll take.